Yes. Hello, hello, happy day. Welcome. My name is Marie Maribel, and this is Align and Flow. Um, please have two blocks nearby and anything that makes you comfortable. Bless you. Meet me seated, please, um, in any way that feels right for you. Please um, tune in to the sound of the breath. As we find our seat, invite yourself to settle in. Possibly your hands rest on your legs or on your belly, your heart, anywhere that naturally lands and helps you take a deep inhalation. And without even trying, just exhale, let it be. And notice the effects of just paying attention. Good. Again, as we inhale, not only are we paying attention to the breath, we notice the spine elongate. And exhale, settle the back of the neck, the sides of the shoulders, the side of the arms and hands. Two more deep breaths, inhale, notice where your center is. And exhale, notice left and right. Don't try to change it, just notice where homeostasis is today. Again, we're centered, inhale. Exhale, all of your awareness on the left side of the body. Notice how does the shoulder feel today? The ribs, the belly, the hips, the legs. Not with words, just notice where left is in relation to your center. Good. Continue being aware all the while returning to a more centered awareness, tall spine, wide ribs, Exhale, oh, bring into your awareness the right side of the body. Without needing to change it, notice what's homeostasis, what does balance feel and look like for you on your right side, face, neck, shoulders, outer arm and leg. Not trying to change it, not labeling it, not getting wrapped up in any idea of what it does or doesn't mean. See if you can just remain present. Mm -hmm. Right side in your awareness, return to center. Inhale, fill up both sides evenly, knowing there's always more than two sides. And exhale, soften. We have the front body, we have the back body. Inhale, invite awareness. And exhale, notice how it moves you with it all. Last two breaths on your own. Good. Again, notice where baseline is now. You can stay here forever. You can return at any time. If you feel called, feel free to open your eyes <clears throat> and move the shoulders around a little bit. Today is a shoulder day and just noticing where you're at is always going to be helpful. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, reach them out, 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 down, 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 shake it off. Do the opposite, retrace your steps. Inhale, reach it out and up. And exhale, hands to heart center, bring it in and shake it off. Meet me on all fours, please, tabletop. Please bring the hands onto the mat. The blocks could be to the left and to the right of your mat. We have plenty of space today. Please soften the belly, lift the tail, lift your chin, inhale, eyes look up. Exhale, tuck your tail and round your spine on purpose. Press the mat away, tuck the chin. Two more, please tilt the pelvis, soften the belly, the heart expands, look up. Exhale, root the tail, feel the spine curl in as you tuck the chin. Last full one, guided tail first, chin last. Exhale, tuck the tail first, chin last. Stay here rounded like a cat. Press the mat so far away from you, your shoulders are pressing down to the ribs, protraction. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Inhale, maintain integrity as you lift the shoulders up and exhale, widen them out. Three breaths, do whatever you need to do with your legs, whatever you need to do with your hands to feel totally present and supported. Welcome. The room can have the sound of your breath. Mm. 
notice what are you paying attention to when you say you're practicing yoga the breath is there for us <clears throat> to tune in to tone <clears throat> and to move with it <laughs> please bend both knees look forward inhale walk it step it both feet forward lengthen and look forward exhale we fold look at the legs please stand up inhale reach the arms out 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 reach and exhale let it be let's do an experiment real quick can you just reach the arms up all right so that's one way of doing it exhale shake it off can you please imagine you're going to yawn from the abdomen so slowly bring the rest the hands up but the belly moves first inhale lift the belly lift the ribs expand so much you genuinely are stretching look up exhale offer the heart forward spread the arms out as we look at the legs press the hands down inhale straight elbows look forward exhale walk or step both feet back bend the elbows you are welcome to have the knees on the floor inhale claw the floor as you pull the hips forward look up exhale flex the feet lift the hips downward facing dog nice you have five fingers on the left hand pressing down five fingers on the right hand pressing down the space in between the fingers is also awake uh-huh notice you can lift your armpits away from the wrists and widen the shoulders out take over your width keep that as we exhale bend the knees look forward inhale walk step or jump feet forward heart forward exhale we fold yawn inhale imagine you're just waking up stretching 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 exhale let it be it has a different quality last one inhale genuinely expand as you stretch exhale ground the energy down look at your legs inhale press the mat so much that you actually feel your hands exhale feet back chaturanga low push up inhale draw the heart forward slingshot it forward exhale bring the hips back downward facing dog anything at all that you need to do please know that yoga isn't static and stillness always and forever there's this dynamic awareness that when we're still we can become aware of the internal workings of the mind of the breath in this moment don't get carried away with that all the while notice two more breaths many of us can draw the ribs away from the thighs notice that the back plane of the body gets more buoyant keep that as we exhale bend the knees look forward inhale lock step jump lengthen the heart look forward exhale notice the legs you can kiss your legs stand up inhale yawn 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 yeah so we're imprinting a new pattern exhale one of being awake present and intentional let's shift the arms this time they're going to go forward inhale reach forward feel free to arch if that's what you want to do exhale touch the floor right knee back inhale we lunge eyes look forward all fours tabletop exhale step it back bend the elbows knees chest chin to the floor inchworm inhale cobra or up dog exhale downward facing dog right foot inhale forward everything forward exhale stand at the top of the mat and fold inhale we stand up some people like to wiggle or arch feel free to do that exhale center second side inhale up exhale down left leg back inhale lunge all fours exhale bend the elbows knees chest chin to the floor inhale cobra or up dog wide heart exhale downward facing dog left foot inhale forward look forward everything forward exhale fold that was a little heavy inhale stand up not good not bad exhale bring it to center let's see if we can move with more intention and less sound all right let's slow it down inhale lift. exhale lower right knee back slowly as though someone's sleeping across the hall from you good position yourself exactly how you want you can have your blocks nearby we're going to be here for a moment all right if you want guidance see if you can bring the left buttocks underneath you as we inhale bring the arms up 
Uh huh. And do you remember what we did standing? So rest your arms a little bit. Now from the core of the abdomen and the pelvis, inhale, genuinely reach. Good, stay put. Option one, five breaths, this is it. Option two, bend the elbows out towards your neighbor and then change your mind four times. At any point, you can stay in any of these. Mm, yeah. I've been taking dance classes here and there. <clears throat> and my teacher is usually saying like, imagine you're like pulling stuff towards you, like gratitude or whatever. If that's helpful for you, use it. If not, let's get out of it anyways. <laughs> Exhale, touch the floor, step it back. Do you want chaturanga? Do you want inchworm? Figure it out as we bend the elbows. Belly time, rest please. <clears throat> you can move your props and water bottles out of your arm's reach. As though you're gonna windshield wiper the space or what's it called, snow angel. All right, notice that we think the arms are as wide as they'll go. What if you actually walk your fingers a little bit further away from you? So more of your bicep touches. Left hand under left shoulder, bend the left knee. Look left and slowly roll over. Mm -hmm. So all of us are looking to the left side of the room. Press the left hand down, inhale, adjust yourself at least once. So the outer right ribs are on the floor. You can rest your skull. Mm -hmm. Stay put, Oops, sorry. <laughs> Stay put, most of us could flirt the top shoulder in its socket. Yeah, to clear up the collarbone, to soften the neckline. Mm -hmm. You could even blink or swallow, let your nervous system know you're safe. What happened to the breath? Keep everything, just return to center, touch the mat if the arm has moved, inhale, exhale, retrace, shake it off, however you want to do so. Same thing, other side. Arms are to a T, but not just place there, you actually position them wider. This time the right hand under the right shoulder, bend the right knee, look right. Stay here or roll over. Please know the top leg can be anywhere. It does not have to be behind you, especially if you have low back stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Please press the right hand down and scoot your heart forward. <laughs> yes, exactly. Stay, you could rest your skull. You could position the right arm anywhere you want to the ceiling. You could interlace fingers. You could massage your low back. Three breaths. Mm -hmm. From the center of the heart to the collarbones, elongate. Yes, keep that as we soften the face. Soften the approach. Mm -hmm. Center, slowly back off 10% at a time until you naturally find yourself on the belly. Please have the hands under the shoulders. Notice you have the base of the index knuckle down, base of the thumb, that's one and two. Then you have the base of the pinky and the base outer edge wrist of the hand down. Four corners of the hands down. And you test it as you slide it back. See if you can maintain all four corners on the mat further and further back. Once you notice it's too challenging, back off 10% and lengthen the legs. Press the feet down, press the pubic bone down, press the hands down. Inhale, lift the shoulders, lift the skull. They put as we exhale, option one, get longer. Option two, tuck the toes, claw the floor, and like a happy seal, drag yourself forward as you have offering the heart forward with back. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose, whatever works for you. Five breaths, I'll guide us differently in a moment. But for now, do what you need to do. Well, in general, do what you need to do. Let's please rest the knees down. <clears throat> All right, slowly uh, rest your forehead down. Option one, this is it. If ever you want, there could be something soft between your heel and your seat so your knees don't have to bend so much. All right, stay or come up to the fingertips, inhale. Look towards your fingertips. Look at your elbows. Can you inhale, lift the elbows higher, lift the shoulders higher, walk the fingers more forward. Stay put as you widen the seat back, tuck the chin slightly, stretch the armpits. The armpits are part of the shoulders. <laughs> See if you can tent the armpits up and widen the shoulders out, soft head, soft uh, neck. <laughs> 
Option one, stay put or return to what you know. Option two, lift even higher. Let's say the torso matches the elbows. Stay or thread the right arm through at like 70% where you can still take in information. Notice you can press both hands down as you inhale, lift through the rib cage and exhale, thread through on purpose. <clears throat> Sit back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inhale, bring all of your awareness to the right armpit and side ribs. And exhale, dissolve any residue that's there. <laughs> Notice you can press more or less. And if you're pressing 100%, um, back off. I would say press like 70% max. Enough that there's buoyancy and sweetness. Let's back it off. Inhale a little bit at a time. Exhale, shake it off, whatever that means to you. Child's pose, option stay put or reset. Option come up to the fingertips, look at them. Lift the elbows and shoulders to match it as we exhale widen the shoulders. Stay put or lift the torso, inhale, and thread the other arm through at 70%, meaning you're not as deep as you possibly could go. Press the hands so far down that you can inhale, lift the torso, and exhale, twist on purpose. Imagine that the left hand is dragging you towards it, and then the right ribs are hugging away from your thigh. Yeah, and then breathe into the left outer ribs. Soft face. Nice, back it off, inhale a little bit at a time. Exhale, shake it off, whatever that means to you. Nice, <clears throat> let's reset, child's pose, but this time lift everything so far away from the floor, you're on tabletop. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Anytime I'm not working hips or hamstrings, which is today, um, I offer us to shorten the down dog so the legs take on enough weight that the spine can be compressed. The legs take enough work that the shoulders don't have to push, push, push. They can elongate, 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 you know? Dwamapada, second leg. Inhale, right leg is forward. Exhale, back knee is down. Position yourself in the best possible way. <clears throat> Make sure the right foot's wide enough that you can anchor your sitting bones downwards as we inhale lift the arms up and exhale back off 30 percent just enough that you can bring the rest of you into the stretch inhale hug your organs back and yawn stretch 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 stay put option one option two some of us like bending the elbows you can stay in any of those or you can come and go five times it doesn't have to be super cable pulley strong it could be really soft and sweet or somewhere in between. Nice. Back it off. Touch the floor as we exhale. Your hands could be on the floor or blocks. Step forward. Inhale to the top of the mat. Some people like having blocks underneath as we lift halfway up. And exhale, bend your knees so much that your ribs are supported by the thighs. Option one, do what you want. Option two, ragdoll. You can hold on to your elbows. And notice, is the weight more on the heels or toes? Can you invite the toes? Yeah. Look at the arches of the feet. Some of us are collapsed. Can you look at the inseam and engage your inner calves, your inner thighs, and pelvic floor? Exhale, bring more weight to the toes. Option, stay put, five breaths. Option two, hands to the skull. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Can you just like let your elbows be what they are? What if you purposefully bring them into your peripheral vision, press the skull back so there's weight in the toes, and now the elbows draw down, 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 away from the armpits, fill up the back plane of the body. Three breaths. Keep everything, intensity less, 10% less. Keep gripping, 20% less. <laughs> until eventually you initiate an exit. Back off. Do you want to come up one vertebra at a time? Do you want to come up straight? However you wish to stand up tall is perfectly fine. Exhale, let it be. Awesome. All right. That's caught now. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Again, it'll be helpful to have your blocks nearby. Um, inhale, reach up, but not just the arms, actually the whole body. Thanks. 
child's hold. You can touch mat or blocks. Uh, left leg back. Some of us like having the knee down, others are ready to have the knee up. Whatever version you choose, do it on purpose. If the knee is up, press the heel back and lift the thigh so much you get to drive the sitting bones down and rise. Option one, do you bend the back knee enough that you can stay neutral in the hips. Option two, bend your left elbow. Top hand on the elbow. Inhale, lift the elbow high. Exhale, take any back bend out of it and keep taking it out of it as we offer the heart up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people bind in a different way. Back off, inhale, unwind, straighten the legs, arms to a T. Exhale, warrior two. Bend the front knee, make sure the second toe is facing forward. Some of us stay classic. Others rest the back arm. It could go behind you. It could find that there's a hip somewhere or a thigh over there. Notice you can bring, look at your left shoulder. You can bring it back, at which point you look forward. Do what you want with the front arm. It could stay, it can bind, it can bind. Yep, keep it. What if you bring your ribs over your hips? Uh-huh, and bend the front knee more. There we go. These are all practices of positioning ourselves in the best possible way. Straight legs, inhale. Right hand to the shin, ankle, block, toe, your version of triangle. Just keep the legs strong. You can traction them towards each other as we inhale, lift pelvic floor and center of heart up, exactly. Stay put, five breaths, option eight breaths, option one. Option two, look down, bend the front knee 20% and feel free to explore your balance. Okay. Where you could stack the hips, stack the shoulders and rib cage, and exhale, do what you want. Last five breaths. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Most of us can engage the foot, which then engages the calf and thigh. Yes. Fall down less. See if your armpit can match your thigh, your hip. <laughs> When it's time to reset, you do so. We reconvene in warrior two, inhale. Exhale, touch the floor just long enough that you're in a lizard and you can move your blocks to the left long edge of the mat. Please walk your hands to the left long edge of the mat. Bring the blocks with you. We're in this like awkward wide-legged, but it's not so awkward. Please bend the left knee onto the floor so the shin, ankle, and knee are on the floor parallel to the short edge of the mat. Right toes face the long edge of the mat. Inhale, bring the blocks high under the shoulders and tuck your tail so much you initiate an exit. Lift the blocks up to a T, inhale. Exhale, bring one block behind the straight knee and one block next to your other calf. And then forget about them. Inhale, lift. Can you purposefully hinge forward? Don't do that, all right? So come back and see if you can gather your seat so far underneath you that a side bend is a real side bend. You can reach for the block next to the straight leg. It can be closer to you, further from you, taller, shorter. Inhale, keep the tail underneath and yawn. Yawn, yeah, 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 you get it. <laughs> soft gaze, soften the eyes a little bit. Keep the awareness, just rise up, inhale. Notice there's a block on the other side. Exhale, your left hand can move the block or land on the block. Uh-huh. Do you notice how the body went to hinge? Back off the hinge as you offer the hip over the knee and inhale, yawn. Some of us are so anchored in our tail that you can spin the heart to the ceiling. Exactly, do what you want with the top arm. Some people do circles with the arm. Uh-huh, if you want to. <laughs> the light flickered right as you're doing that. It's like a Harry Potter type stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's back off enough that we find our seat. Look down and invite your seat down. You can rearrange so the right leg is parallel to the long edge of the mat, give or take. It's not a rule. Belly in. Inhale. Frame the front body or frame the leg and exhale, fold. You could be quite classic in a folding center. You could play with the arms. Maybe you cross your arms. Mm hmm yeah. All right, see if you can hold underneath the toe, whether the knee is bent or not, doesn't matter to me. 
Inhale, lift the upper body. Notice what happens when you point the foot. Let the, let the upper body go with it as we bend the elbows, stretch throughout the whole body. Soft shoulders, soft gaze. If ever you notice spots arise, see if you can also notice sensation. Keep your left hand on your leg, maybe on the outer side of the calf, ankle, or toe. Right hand to the waist. Inhale, take any forward fold out of the pose, especially in the belly and the ribs. And exhale, rotate, look right. Option one, this is plenty. Look forward for a moment. Option two, notice you can hold on top of the foot now. Same concept, you see? But this time the upper body is not allowed to move. See if you can flex the foot, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, point the foot so much you can rotate and hug the abdomen back. Look back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of us can engage the front foot way more. So there's elegance in the bottom of the heart. Yep. Keep it 10% less effort. And then lift from there. <laughs> yeah. Keep what you have, just look forward, inhale, switch your arms. So the right hand holds the big toe side of the foot, left hand to the waist. Same thing, we're not just rotating the shoulder, hug the abdomen so far back, inhale that you initiate an exit, and exhale, rotate to the other side. Left hand can stay or it goes behind your low back, maybe you find a pocket. Look forward, towards me. Point the toe, but don't move with it. Point the toe and then rotate the ribs instead, exactly. Five breaths, soft face. You can look anywhere you want. Sometimes I look down for a neck stretch. It just depends where your attention is. Good. Keep what you have, look at your mat. Right hand down, it's your kickstand. It can go anywhere you want. Left arm up. Inhale again, yawn. So lift the torso up and exhale, elongate over the straight leg. Top arm could be straight, top arm could be bent. Notice collapsing and don't do that. See if instead you can rotate and lift just like we did in that kneeling side plank wild thing. Because <laughs> that's where we're going. Keep what you have, just rise arms to a T, inhale. Land the left arm down and lift the hips up, inhale. This is where we initiated it from, remember? Look at the, um, Slowly look at the long edge of the mat and exhale, your hands can find the blocks or the floor and slowly lunge it forward. Yeah, we're retracing. Left hand to the waist, right hand, right uh, hip. Some people have the back knee down, others are ready to lift it up. If you're lifting it up, lift everything else up. Inhale, rotate the torso, top arm up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can do anything you want with the top arm and fall down into the wrist less, press into the front foot more, lift the back leg more. Yeah. Keep everything, just reach to behind you to the short edge of the mat and notice you can still plug the shoulder in the socket. Boom. And then look down, change your mind. Exhale, vinyasa, move with your breath however you see fit. It could be on the knees or not, bend the elbows. Inhale, cobra or up dog or cat cow. Exhale, whatever you need. It could be child's pose. It could be down dog. Eight breaths, do exactly what you want. Salves, rios e mares. Minha vegetação. Salva a mãe natureza. Ouvi com atenção. Ouvi o som da cachoeira. Escute o canto do passarinho. Right. Let's invite the second side. You can um, adjust your position, you can adjust your blocks in such a way that if ever you wanted to, they're by your hand and you can reach for them. Um, your other leg forward, so this time it's your left foot forward, inhale. Exhale, do exactly what you want. Some of us want the knee down, others want it up. If the knee is up, press the heel back. Inhale, lift the thighs and into that space, scoop tail under, lift arms up. Exhale, you can bend the back knee enough that now you can position your seat underneath you. Stay or bend the right elbow, inhale. 
Exhale, you can press on the elbow. Let's not say press, let's just say position. Inhale, lift the elbow really, really high. Notice the abdomen. And exhale, take any back bend out of it and then lift the heart from there. Five breaths. Inhale, back off and up that you can position the back heel down. Exhale, warrior two. At any point, the front leg can be straight. Inhale, arms out. And exhale, bend the front knee. Back arm could stay or back arm could rest. It could go behind you. It could find the hip, the thigh. Look at your right shoulder. Do you see how it collapses down? See if it can lift back. Look forward. Anything you want with the arms. Most of us can hug the front body back a bit and then lift the back body. Triangle, inhale, straight legs. Exhale, left hand to shin, ankle, or block. This one was an eight breath opportunity for some of us to be quite stable. Suction the feet towards uh, each other as you offer the heart up. Some of us explored half moon and balancing. Uh -huh. Engage the top leg as you stack the hips. Engage the glutes, because why not? Stack the shoulders so much that you remember we're doing a shoulder class. See if you can remember uh -huh, that imprint of being conscious, alert, and supportive of the back of the heart. The thumb could be over your ear. Stay as long as you want. Retrace your steps whenever you choose to. Inhale. And windmill the hands down. Exhale. Move the blocks to the right long edge of the mat and go ahead and walk towards the right long edge of the mat. Bring the blocks with you. Rest the right knee, shin and ankle down. Inhale, bring the block so high, you have options to work a little bit. This is where a lot of us are doing most of our poses. Can you instead bring the sitting bone under and stack the brain over your pelvic hammock? Arms to a T, holding the blocks, inhale. Exhale, position it wherever it lands behind your back uh, straight leg. And position it wherever it lands next to the bent knee. All right, inhale, open. Exhale, reach towards the straight leg. Uh-huh. Do you notice sometimes the buttocks wants to go back? See if you can keep it under. Belly back. Inhale, flower throughout the whole ribcage. Mm-hmm. Top arm can move. Doesn't have to be static. Stay forever or inhale, rise. Other side, exhale, right hand finds a block. At any point, the block can be closer or further from you. Mm-hmm. Invite the sitting bone further underneath you, the right bone, and then stay put, option one. If your tail, if the, what's it called? The pubic bone is looking for your navel, most of us could spin the heart towards the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Free up the top arm if you want. Oof. Inhale, reset, arms to a T. Sit, please. Exhale, you could use the blocks to help you, or not. The left leg is straight. You can reorient so the leg is parallel to the long edge of the mat. It's not a rule, it's just an orientation. Frame the front leg, belly in. Inhale, lift the front of the heart forward, and exhale, fold. Some of us played with arm variations, if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. With this one, we could do a full body forward fold. If you wish, lift the chest, inhale. Point the, like hold right underneath the big toe, that's called your ball mount. Press that so far away from you, the whole upper body moves with it. And then exhale, bend the elbows, you can kiss your knee. <laughs> Imagine your shirt's a little too tight and you're trying to stretch it out with the breath. <laughs> inhale, you feel the skin stretch, not just the muscles. Okay. Stay put, right hand holds the outer foot somewhere or the top of the toes. Left hand to your waist. Inhale, take any fold out of the pose. You could even close the knee a bit. And exhale, look away from me towards your left shoulder. 
the left hand can reach further back. Maybe find a pocket. Stay put or look forward. Inhale. Just same thing, but now the upper body doesn't move. Point the toes as you wrap the front ribs back and rotate the left shoulder back. Yeah. Keep the foot engaged. Keep the fingers soft. Yeah. Paribrita Janusrasana. Keep it. Look forward. Inhale. Switch your arms. Exhale. This time you can hold inner calf, ankle, or arch. Right hand to the waist. Same thing. Can, let's just try it. Can you move your shoulder back? Okay, so that will be the last movement. So let it be where it is. Now, first movement is abdomen back. Second movement, rib cage back. Third movement, shoulder back. Yeah, do what you want with the arm. Some of us like that forward folding where you look forward, excuse me, the pointing of the toes where you look forward. And then you point the toe, but don't let it take the upper body. Instead, you wrap the ribs up again. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Most of us can kickstand the left ribs more. There we go. I don't even know what that means, but y'all did it. <laughs> Keep what you have, look at your mat. Left hand touches down somewhere. Right arm reaches up. Inhale, but it's not just the arm by itself, it's the abdomen. Hug your organs back. Inhale, space between each rib. Exhale, lengthen over the straight leg. Fall into the left side less. Uh-huh, lengthen through the throat and crown through. In one of my teacher trainings, I was taught to use the positive. It's like non-dualist tantra. And so instead of saying, don't do that, I will say, do that a little less. <laughs> Inhale, rise. It's a different feel though, you know? Exhale, let's return where the right hand is down. Plug the shoulder in the socket and lift. Inhale. Let's me in a lunge. Exhale, notice your bent knee, walk your hands towards it. Some of us stay or bring our blocks. You could just lunge. Some of us lift the knee up to feel more comfortable and adjusted and familiar. Right hand on the floor, left hand to the waist. Inhale, lift the calf, thigh, glutes, ribs, and rotate. <laughs> yeah. All right, so same, same. Fall into the hand less, press into the foot more. Yeah. Lift the heart more, heel back more. Yes. Stay, or some of us reach back towards the short edge of the mat. Uh-huh, and position the shoulder in its socket. Inhale, exhale, get out of it. Touch the floor, however you see fit. Vinyasa, move with the breath, step back. The knees can touch the floor if you want. Inhale, pull forward, offer the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing. Nice. Anything at all that you need is perfectly fine. If you need me, I'm here. Most of us are heavy on our hands. What if you were able to be heavy on the legs as well? For some, it will be a shorter or a wider down dog. For me, it's both. Mm -hmm. And now allow the spine to decompress. For some of us, we shorten the stance so much that you could be on the fingertips. So it's not quite ragdoll and not quite down dog, but there, here we are. Option one, stay put and always do what you need. Option two, bend the knees so, or shorten your stance enough that you're in like, a forward fold, but not quite, you know? Bend the knees enough that the thighs are on the, the thighs and ribs meet. Relax your arms, tuck the chin. <clears throat> you could bring your hands to your low back. Stay put as you position the shoulders in the socket. Keep the shoulders in the socket, keep the hands, or keep the shoulders, interlace the fingers. Inhale, keep the shoulders, stretch the arms. Exhale, stay or fold towards the toes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can um, press into the toes and widen the thighs back and apart so your sitting bones broaden. Inhale, pelvic floor lifts. It's technically a hammock and it elongates down the throat and towards the crown of the head. Stay put or wiggle if you want. Yeah, you could wiggle on the shoulders, you can wiggle on the legs. All right, bend the knees so much you initiate an exit. The chest is supported and you can release the arms, keep the shoulders in the socket. Come to the fingertips, hands on blocks or fingertips. Inhale, lift up and bring the shoulders in the socket. Tuck the tail so much you can come out. Inhale, we rise. 
Sasha, yeah. Cool. Let's do one more pose standing um, for shoulders. It's also hips, but let's try it. Feel free to stagger with your neighbor. I used to always blame my neighbor for why I couldn't balance. Um, so it's always nice to like clear your peripheral vision, give or take. Standing with our, <laughs> standing with our feet together. Let your knees be soft. Um, the right ankle is heavy. The left ankle is light. Inhale, this is plenty. Some of us cross ankles, others cross thigh. Notice that the more you bend the knee, the more access we have, to a degree, of course. Stay or bend the elbows in front of you. Right, opposite elbow on top. Inhale, right elbow on top. Some of us like the arms straight and look towards the right shoulder. Others like pressing the palms into each other, widening the shoulders, widening the back. 10 breaths, do you, option one. Option two, do you taller? <laughs> Where you can lift the elbows, lift and maybe even the gaze. Stay for the last five or explore lower where the elbows are in and it's more rounded like a cat. You can purposefully widen from your spine to either shoulder like their wings and they're just gradually coming out of your shirt. <laughs> the fingers can reach down or forward. He's out. Inhale, rise, uncross the legs, exhale, shake. Questions, answers? Yeah. I get kind of high, like behind my eyes when I do this one. <laughs> Second side. Please uh, notice that the left foot is heavy and strong and the right ankle is light. You could cross ankles, you can cross calves, you could cross thighs. If so, bend the knees. Elbows bend in front of you, opposite, left elbow on top. Feel free to straighten the arm and look left. Feel free to play. Where the forearms press into each other, the elbows widen off of your back. Breathe into the ribs. 10 breaths, stay or explore tall. Even with the eyes. or explore low. Fingers can face anywhere you please. When it's time to back off, inhale, rise, lift the knee. Exhale, All right, I think it's time for the floor. Inhale, rise the arms, stretch. Last time we get to do a standing. Exhale, fold, touch the floor. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, legs back. Knees can touch the floor if you want. Your version of bending the elbows is fine. Inhale, slowest up dog. Widen the shoulders, look back. Back wall. Exhale, downward facing. <clears throat> Meet me seated. Inhale, you can walk. You can step, you can sit. Exhale, some of us are gonna hang out here for five breaths, okay? We'll all guide it regardless. Um, you could stay. Sometimes I rest my armpits on the knees. Of course, the feet can be away from you. You could stay. That's not literally the armpits. Sometimes it's your biceps. Press the knees into the biceps, biceps into the knees, round back, tuck the chin. If this is too much, don't do it. If ever you prefer a op different option, you can hold on top of the feet and then point the toes as you round your back. Good. Stay here for five more breaths. Some people want hamstrings and you can straighten the legs. Others want chest one last time. So stay where you are or fold, option one. Option two, stay where you are, release the arms. Back. Upward facing plank. Inhale, stay. Bring the shoulders into the sockets. Pull the hips forward and lift. Uh, uh, five breaths, the legs could be straighter back. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, look at the ceiling. Most of us can lift the bottom ribs up. Yep. Yeah, that was five. Exhale, we sit. Good. Um, hug the knees in and notice the space behind you. We're about to go on our backs and stay on our backs. The blocks can be by your hips in case you want them. Inhale, we hug in. 
Exhale, meet me on your back. You can rock side to side. You can rock forward and back. Whatever it is your body needs, you let that be, happen. All right. <clears throat> Please pause at center and make footprint. Press the feet onto the mat towards bridge. Widen the shoulders so far behind you. You're open, you're available. Stay put or inhale, lift the hips up. And exhale, stay or interlace fingers underneath you. Uh-huh. Without moving your feet, energetically traction them towards your armpits. And notice you can lift the hips more from there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And press into the arms. Three breaths. Keep all of it. Just soften mental effort. Good. Keep what you have, just release the arms if they're interlaced and exhale, settle it down. Hug the knees in, inhale. Last 10 breaths. Some of us want to do two more bridges or wheels, five breaths each. Others may want to twist right side five, left side five. Maybe you want happy baby. Whatever you choose to do, inhale, set yourself up exactly how you want and exhale, you're doing something you want. Five breaths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. If you're in wheel, enjoy it. And if ever you wanted, you can look towards your hands and offer your heart over the wrists. Mm -hmm. Good. That was set one. If you're doing anything asymmetrical and you want me to guide you, go ahead and switch sides. Inhale, back off, whatever you're doing. Exhale, second side, last side, five breaths. The music says it's playing. Oh, it's just a soft song. <laughs> Sweet. Continue doing you, option one, option two. Let's go ahead and set up for final rest. For some of us, um, we are ready and willing to just take over our mat. If so, do that, where your feet are wider than the mat and the hands are wider than the mat. Take rest. Some of us kind of like being in a studio or having access to blocks. And maybe you want a restorative heart opening slash shoulder thing where you can create an equal sign with the blocks underneath you. One of the blocks technically will be um, along your skull. So let's say an upside down T. And the other one could be across your ribs. With this one, you could um, have your arms to a T, which is more for the chest or if you've been like slouching. And if you have the arms overhead, that could be more armpits, side body, side belly, all of that. I'm gonna turn the music off. If ever the block feels too high, it probably is. So just adjust it. Good. Inhale, all of us are doing exactly where, what we want. And exhale, rest knowing that that's exactly what you need to be doing. I'm here with you, but um, I'll stay in silence for the next three minutes.
Inhale. Exhale. Notice where baseline is now. You can remain as you are energetically, physically invite movements. Notice that you can remain awake, soft and present. The ankles can move, the wrists can move. You stay in this liminal space of not quite asleep, not quite wide-eyed awake, somewhere in between. Feel free to stretch, inhale, reach the arms away from you if it feels safe to do so. And exhale, coil in, always returning to center. The knees can bend, inhale. Do as you wish, exhale. Some rest on our side for a moment or two, others rock up. However, your seat is found is perfectly fine. As we find our seat, notice the tall length that resides within you. Inhale and exhale, settle into it. Palms can meet in front of the heart. Continue breathing, noticing baseline is constantly changing, yet always there. Every single cue I offer, every single pose that's weaved together and throughout um, is an invitation to be present. All of these poses, they matter, not because they matter like in history, it's because it matters in this moment. It's in this moment that we can learn to focus. It's in this moment that we can be present. It's in this moment that we're here for. And so these are practices of being present, of cultivating our awareness, of learning to focus at will. It is a privilege to be able to focus at will. Thank you for being here and for practicing. Namaste. <laughs> Happy day. Thank you all. Uh, my name is Marie Maribel. I teach Mondays and Thursdays uh, evenings. And then I also teach Monday through Friday mornings and Sunday morning. I teach every day. Um, have a good day. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Yeah.